this is Business Scene. I'm Chris Cascajo. Clutching pails, tubs, and buckets, residents of Myanmar's bustling commercial capital, Yangon, queued for water on Monday as rolling power outages aggravate the economic misery sparked by last year's military coup. Last week, the junta announced the country's already patchy power supply would be further reduced for seven days, blaming rising gas prices and attacks by anti-coup fighters on infrastructure. The increasing outages see homes and businesses in Yangon, home to some 7 million people, plunge regularly into darkness and leaving many unable to draw water to their homes. Resident of North Dagon Township, Ko Ang. If there is an electricity blackout, we can use charcoal for cooking, but we can't live without water. Even if there is electricity, without water from the system, we can't cook anything. Power outages are common in Myanmar thanks to a creaky and outdated electricity grid, with demand regularly outstripping supply during the sweltering summer months. Last July, Yangon's power supplier warned customers their electricity supplies could be disrupted if they continued refusing to pay their bills as part of a boycott that has hit junta coffers. Thousands of civil servants have walked out in protest against the regime, leaving schools, universities, and hospitals empty, and the State Administration Council, as the junta calls itself, struggling to issue bills or collect taxes. Zhou Zeguang surveys his Shanghai workshop and rows of workers meticulously stitching high-collared Chinese dresses known as Shipao, which will sell for nearly $5,000. Co-founder of Hanart, Zhou Shiguang. We Hanart focus on the high-end market because it has a higher difficulty. Our tailors dedicate maybe their whole lives making clothes to be able to make a high-quality Shipao. The price tag also reflects enduring demand for the shipao known as Changsam in Hong Kong and overseas Chinese communities. Drawing on traditional design elements, the dress was popularized in 1920 Shanghai. Its form-fitting cut capturing the glamour of that freewheeling pre-communist era and the desire of Chinese women to liberate themselves from traditionally subservient roles. The shipao disappeared after the Communist Party, which considered it decadent and bourgeois, took power in 1949. The dress's comeback is due in part to producers like Joe. A mass-produced shipout, sometimes seen at weddings and other formal occasions, can be bought today for as little as 100 yuan or $16 US. But Joe, 59, has found a market for higher-end designs among well-heeled Chinese fashionistas. Joe previously dealt in lower-priced shipao before founding Hanart in 1998 in partnership with Chu Hongsheng, a legendary shipao designer who fitted Chinese film actresses and the wives and daughters of Shanghai mafia bosses. For Business Scene, I'm Chris Cascajo.